I have to know. Please, why are there no baby pictures of me? Why won't you let me see my birth certificate and please tell me, why is there a trunk in the attic filled with things that belong to a girl named Hannah? is our daughter, Janie. She's your mother. You're not really our daughter, you're our granddaughter. <laughs> when Hannah was 18, she joined a young people's group called the the children of the natural order. My mother was the member of a cult? Why didn't you stop her? Well, they, they seemed innocuous at first. It, your mother and I were happy that Hannah had finally started making some friends. See, she always seems... seems... so lost somehow. She was always, um... searching for something. We got a lawyer, we went to the police. But Hannah was considered an adult. Next thing we knew, they moved. No forwarding address. You were wearing this the first time I saw you. I remember I was working in the kitchen and there was a knock at the back door and I opened it and there was Hannah. With you. <laughs> you should have told me. It just never seemed to be the right time. And my father, what about him? I'm sorry, baby. Hannah never told us his name. Why didn't my mother want me? Oh, it wasn't. No. It wasn't that she didn't want you. It was more complicated than that. There were, there were rumors that... Uh, the cult members were, were doing things to the children. Hannah was convinced that the cult was coming back to get you. We were all terrified. But she went back. Yes. Yes. Yes, she did. she gave you to us the chance for a stable life it was the one thing Hannah could give you I think it was the most important it feels so good to have Hannah in her home again the papers in the trunk said Hannah Javinson Javinson was our name before we changed it to Jessamine. Hannah was afraid of the cult, so we moved and we changed our name. And then we made the hardest decision in our lives. We stopped writing to Hannah. And we did that for you. This is nuts. You know that? I mean, your parents are your grandparents? It, it doesn't make any sense. That's what they say, but it doesn't explain the milk carton, does it? Well, why don't you just show them the milk carton? I mean, maybe they wouldn't have an explanation. No. If Hannah or the cult is trying to find me, you know how my parents would react. Well, what if it's just your real dad looking for you? Reeve, my dad is my real dad. It doesn't matter who made up this milk carton. If someone is trying to track me down, I've got to find them. It's the only way I can protect my mom and dad.
there are five sands listed in Harlington. Let's get started here. We have better luck here than the last three stops. You know you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Wait a sec. to me. Reef, my parents lied to me. No matter what I do, I just keep seeing all those redheads. I wish they would go away. They're just like this, this thing waiting for me to make a mistake. Well, if you can't stop thinking about them, why don't you just give them a call? Write them a letter. At least let them know you're all right. And tell them what? That I might be their daughter? Well, if they really are your parents, they deserve to know you're okay. So call them up and say that I walked away from you and I don't even know if I screamed or fought. I mean, how could I have? Otherwise, Hannah couldn't have taken me. What kind of a kid doesn't fight back when they're kidnapped? A three-year-old? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Sands, I know this may sound strange, but I think I may be your daughter. This is hard for me because I know that Jennifer was kidnapped. Only I have a wonderful mother and father and a wonderful life, and I've always been very happy. So I just don't see how I could be Jennifer. But I, I keep having these memories, shopping for shoes, a red-haired woman, a big man with a beard. I don't know. Maybe they aren't memories at all. Maybe they're just figments of my imagination. If only there was an easy way for me to find out the truth, but there isn't. No matter what I do, it seems that someone is going to be hurt. I wish I knew the right thing to do. If only I could remember more. Janie. But I just don't. I think your next class is waiting. I guess I'm scared to phone you because you might call the police about my parents, but you can't. Because they are my parents, my mom and dad. Hey, come in. Oh. I can't believe that my parents kidnapped me. It does not make sense. My boyfriend thinks I should send you this letter. He thinks you deserve some peace of mind, but I don't know if I can take the chance. I wish I, I, wish I knew a safe way to tell you that. If I am Jennifer, I'm all right. And you can stop worrying now. Oh! 14 pairs of socks in seven days. So I don't like smelly feet. Well, you know something? Next week, I'm going to put you on laundry detail. <laughs> 